Today on the caucus, on a day of stock market jitters over the U.S. government's debt, John Harwood and Jackie Combs discuss the ongoing negotiations in Washington and the possibilities for a deal to bring down the federal deficit. So, Jackie, there was sort of a confusing picture on the debt and deficits last week. You had President Obama come out and give this really tough speech going after Paul Ryan and his budget plan. On the other hand, mm -hmm. he initiated some negotiations that are designed to wrap up by June in hopes of smoothing the path for a debt limit right. increase. What's the difference between the things they're going to kick down the road and the ones they think they can settle right now? The best that can happen, I think, the ideal, is that they come up with a general framework by the end of June when they have to raise the debt limit. And if President Obama and the Gang of Six that's in the Senate negotiating, if they had their way, it would be sort of a three-legged stu uh, stool. Revenues, uh, the entitlement programs like Medicare, and the sort of annual spending for both military and, and domestic programs. Now, you wrote over the weekend about this Gang of Six that's trying to negotiate a bipartisan deal in the Senate. What makes these six unique, and what are the prospects that six can become 60 if they cut a deal, with, since you need right. 60 to move anything in the Senate? Well, what's interesting about these six is that you have three of the most conservative Republicans in the Senate, and you have Democrats that include one of the most liberal Democrats in the House, who happens to be the number two Senate Democratic leader, Dick Durbin of Illinois. So the thinking is if these six can come together, you know, ultimately, perhaps a critical mass can come together. Now, should the fact that those six members are working together, whether or not their efforts cross the finish line before 2012 or not, um, that would appear to be a confidence-building measure for both parties right. as they try to work out the debt limit. The flip side of what you just said is also true. It, if the gang of six agrees to something, it could build confidence. If they fall apart, they say they'll come up with something soon. But if they fall apart, that would be the opposite. That would that would really shake confidence because this is like the last best hope for bipartisanship. We saw on the potential government shutdown a couple of weeks ago, it went right up to the last hour. Right. How confident should Americans, should the financial markets be that in fact they can avoid that situation? I would say confident. It's never been breached before. Ultimately something happens. But we have a new Congress here and there are a lot of people in the House Republican Caucus that if you you know, that are saying they don't believe it. They just simply do not think that it would be a big problem. Pat and Toomey says Tim Geithner's hyping the potential right, exactly. uh, reaction. So that makes the job of, like you say, Speaker Boehner and Mitch McConnell particularly hard. It's not just politics that's dividing the two. They really believe different things. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this we are a time in our history where the differences between the parties have never been more clear.